Dating back from trade school, we still offer many of those programs, ranging from construction management, cabinetry, and even woodworking. As UVU has grown and expanded, so have the programs we offer. So the Gunther Tech is now home to many of the programs from the School of the Arts, which include painting, illustration, 3D design, and ceramic studios, where students are free to make their first masterpiece. Wow, great job, Brock. Imagine going to college and building a 1969 El Camino from the ground up, racing it on the salt flats, and then breaking four land speed records while you do it. Well, guess what? Here at UVU's Sparks Automotive program, our students did just that. They can study tons of stuff like technology management, automotive technology, diesel mechanics, collision repair, street rod, and even power sports. As time goes on, a lot of universities will drop their trade or tech programs. But here at UVU, we try to prioritize them and make sure that they have their own place here on our campus. And not only are they preparing for a competitive work field, but they're also having a blast doing it. Welcome to the UVU Losey Center, a building with some classrooms, but mostly student resources like the Mentor Program, where there is a mentor who can help you get that college experience. We also have our first year advising center, where they can help you adjust to university life. We also have our career development center and career lab, where they can help you find jobs. And in our career lab specifically, they will help you with your resume and your cover letter, so you can really nail that big interview that you have coming up. You will not believe the things they've done to my resume, Ryan. What big changes did they help you make? Well, first off, looks so much cleaner, right? They did make me change my name, uh, the font, from Comic Sans. Oh, that makes sense. You know, I thought it was the right move. Yeah. Yeah. At the Losey Center, we also have other programs, such as the Women's Success Center, that will help students knock down barriers to be able to graduate on time and navigate the university experience. We also have accessibility services, which will help students with any sort of permanent or temporary mental or physical disability. We also have other programs such as the Honors Program, which we encourage everyone to apply to. They offer honors level courses where you have to keep a 3.4 GPA, but you get so many benefits such as priority registration and scholarships. Just applied to the Honors Program, Ryan. How'd it go? It went okay. Um, I forgot about the Comic Sans thing and the guy interviewing me uh, did major in graphic design, so. But I think I'm gonna be okay. Okay, okay, you'll get him. I got it. Okay. The Sorensen Center is full of different student resources to ensure that you have a safe, informative, and even delicious college experience. This building holds the Grand Ballroom, Center Stage, and Reagan Theater, meaning if you want to go see a proficient public speaker, attend a job fair, or dance the night away, this building will show you what the college experience has entailed for you. Well, and it also has Campus Connections, which is where you're going to get your student ID, discounted concert tickets, and even a complimentary UVX pass. Well, also it has the Lost and Found. Thank you for holding this again, by the way. Upstairs, we're gonna have our student health services. That's where you're gonna be able to make sure you can be physically and mentally well for all the college life you have ahead of you. Not only that, but what would college be like without a bunch of university swag and great things to eat? The Sorensen Center has it both. High five to that. So come on down, get yourself a sweet UVU hoodie, but then also sit down and do some delicious food. Dude, college could not get better than this, dude. I'm telling you. You got a little, like... My hair? Yeah, right there. That's pretty good. Yeah, it's not bad. I'll keep some there for later, actually. Oh, it's too good. For many people, a huge part of the college experience is sports. Baseball, basketball, volleyball, wrestling, in terms of athletics, UVU has a lot going on. Whether you're looking to take the stand yourself with the rest of the student body or step onto the court, how could you not imagine yourself here? Another amazing thing, you can get in on all the action for free with your UVU ID. That's it. We are so excited for sports to start up again here at UVU. 
but for now, we require that you wear a mask anytime you're inside a building. We want to keep our entire community safe. Now, sports aren't back quite yet, but they will be. And we're so excited for you to join in in all the action here at Utah Valley University. And remember, there's a place for you at UVU. I just want to make one small correction to that video, but when it was made, sports were not open, but now we can go to the women's basketball games in um, our Rebecca Lockhart Arena. So that's really exciting. You get to open that up again. Um, did I lose anyone? Because now that I'm on my phone, I can see. Never still here. Yes, they're all they're here. We just can't see um, Rami Harker's students, but he has Rami. How many students do you have? So they have ten students, and Rami can talk to you through the chat apparently. And then okay, has I see a couple students there. Okay, I'm gonna open the chat and then um, if anyone has any questions, I would be more than happy to answer them. Oh, there we go. Okay, are there any informational technology programs? Oh yes, okay. We do have a lot of really good tech programs. I'm unfamiliar with the word informational technology. So if you'll just let me look that up for a second. But we have some of the best tech programs in the state. We keep those all in our uh, Gunther Tech building we have if, do you mean graphic design because i've never heard of informational technology is that like communications because i know all about that department but if um okay Um, okay, I'm assuming, assume, yes. So from what I gather, we have technology management, if that's what informational technology means. Um, it's a certificate program. One of the ones that we have, it would be kept kind of with our like sweet rod and power sports type of things. So yes, we do have infotech. So I just see the word IT keep popping up and I'm assuming that means the same thing. I also will screenshot this and ask my manager to get the specifics on it because housing. Oh, I love talking about housing. Okay, um, and tuition costs and scholarships. Let's start with the housing. Okay, so we don't have on-campus housing kind of like Utah State or BYU would. But we do, we partner with all of the housing in the area. So we have UVU's main campus, and then we have housing all along, dotted along it, all across the most freeway that UVU partners with. Um, they, the, you, the housing offices can give out housing scholarships all the time. And I personally live just literally like I could walk to school, guys. I love it because it saves me so much gas. But yes, we do. We don't have on campus housing, but it feels like on campus housing because it's just as close. Let's just say a lot of people are familiar with Provo's BYU. You can walk to campus because you are on campus at BYU. And here, while it's technically not considered on school grounds, it is just as close as any on campus housing would be. And with the housing offices, you can come in and get a pamphlet or you can look them up online. I'm pretty sure um, I can drop the link in as soon as I'm done talking. 
but they can offer you literally fill out this little cool checklist thing like you put your price range are you good roommates are you married do you want to stay by yourself do you require um like air conditioning which i obviously checked the air conditioning one um do you want to wash or dryer in-house are you okay with going outside wash and dryer do you want a pool and you check that off and then it'll list the houses around the area that have all of those commodities for you so they really like get into the specifics so you're not guessing where you want to live or it's not too expensive for you I definitely was worried about price and automatically I was like oh I am not paying anything more than 400 and I found my perfect apartment so that is housing for you back to the chat um tuition costs oh yes okay so I'm assuming Romney High School you got or uh, yes it's Romney you guys are in state right you guys are in Utah Are you guys out of state in Utah? Okay, perfect. So you guys would get resident scholarships. So I'm from Las Vegas. So I had to do the outside resident scholarships. So this is, I didn't go through these steps, but I know them. So I'll just tell you that we have three types of scholarships. We have the presidential scholarships. Um, we have the executive, I believe. Oh, no, ma. So I can give you the exact prices because I won't as specific as I can with you. So in state, so all you have to have is your GPA. So I'm assuming you guys are juniors and seniors. So as you start to build up that GPA and do your ACTs and CATs, um, you can get, for, you need those two scores. You need ACT, CAT, and GPA. And then you cross-reference that. So we have our presidential scholarship, our P scholarship, our E scholarship, our O scholarship, and our D scholarship. So presidential, P and E and O, we only have a limited amount and their president is full ride and then there's half tuition and then there's new um, community there's a, for a new neighbor scholarship and you get put $5,000 off. Let me drop the link in the description real fast so that I can give you guys all these because I can talk all day, but it's hard to remember all this, I totally know. Moment. Um, but yes, as I said, there's also housing scholarships. So if you go through the housing offices, um, you can get scholarships for those, for like they go directly towards paying off your housing. There are scholarships like through the Women's Success Center, which is actually open towards men and women. But all you have to do is go in for like a, like once a semester and they give you counseling and then you get a scholarship off of it and you have to keep your grades up. So many scholarships they go on UVU to like search up UVU scholarships. It was like the most random scholarships on there. Um, I know the also if you guys are interested in joining the ambassador program, we get a scholarship. There's scholarships for um, those who have disabilities. We have scholarships like for people being left-handed guys. Like we have so many things in your ethnicity. It's really cool. UVU really wants you to succeed here. So we're just offering all of these different types of scholarships for the most weird stuff like you couldn't imagine and you get all the requirements just apply for them and just you never know you might get and then computers oh yes okay one of my favorite buildings on campus is the computer science building so yes we do have a computer science program we have lots of little programs within that as well um let me is there anything specific within computer science that you're looking at or do you just want a general overview of like the programs we offer in there? Because I'll just start listing off the programs within computer science building because we have the basic like you have your engineer, your engineering technologies, technology management, um, informational systems. We have digital media, which is, we actually have one of the best, like the best digital media um, program in the state of Utah, which we're very proud of. Um, we do that through engaged learning. So we have our students that are in like the digital media programs and the computer science programs doing stuff all the time, like for UVU and like we give them internships other places. So you get hands-on learning so that you're like involved in the program and you're not just sitting behind a desk in a classroom. That's one of our big things is that we never just want you to sit behind a desk. We're always going to give you jobs and opportunities and internships and ways to connect through your program so you can actually use the skills that you're learning in the classroom. 
So the computer science one is still one of my favorite buildings. It's also really pretty. So if you guys ever want to come down and like take a real tour and like actually look at the computer science building and all these cool stuff, I would highly recommend it. So we get a like a first hand experience of like what you're gonna be looking at and stuff. Um, Do we have any other questions? Anything more specific that I might have brushed over? What is the actual tuition of UVU? So for your in-state, ah, let me show you. In-state is a little bit less than 3,000. Um, but with your scholarship and stuff, you can bring it down. I know out of state, it was about 8,000 for me. And that tuition rate, tuition waiver brought it down to match you guys in Utah, which is about a little less than 3,000. Um, I had a bunch of fun scholarships and stuff. So in state, okay. 2,000, just so like the directly less than 3,000 is 2,500 to 2,600 depending. And then out of state is roughly 8,000. These are big, beautiful numbers, but that is why we offer so many scholarships. So we can get that 2,500 down as much as we can so that you can use that money towards other things such as books and your housing if you guys um, aren't gonna be living at home and things as such. Why did you decide to attend the Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is like a love story, guys. I felt, okay. So I, again, I lived in Las Vegas. So that's kind of a really big leap across the pond, right? Like, why are you up in little town in Utah going to college? So my dad worked at my high school back down in Vegas. And he, he was elective manager, which is a big confusing word, but he would take us up on college road trips all the time. So we would take, we would go down to Arizona, then we go up to SU, and then we go back to Dixie, and then we go to UVU and BYU, and then we go to Utah State and Heber. And as soon as I walked onto camp, so I took like seven tours a semester with my dad of all these colleges. And there was just this really good vibe. And I, oh, I don't mean to sound like a guru or anything, but I took a tour here and one of the, I'm actually friends with the person that gave me the tour now, but the way school, and they were telling me about the student life is the most important thing, like to me, is like, the vibe like is like at a party school or like, is it like, how did I feel when I was on campus? Did I feel like I belonged? And out of all the schools that I went to, UVU's big theme is inclusion and diversity. And I had never felt so connected to these to people that I didn't even know. I felt at home on campus. I understand it sounds cheesy, it sounds far-fetched, and I'm just trying to sell you my school. Guys, I would not go here unless I fell in love with it. I, like, I came from Las Vegas. I traveled very far to get here, and I would not want to be anywhere else in the world. I am so in love with all the opportunities that we get. UVU gives us resource after resource, because all I want to do is help you succeed. And I didn't see that in other colleges, how badly they just wanted to give you, give you scholarships. They wanted to give you um, career development labs to help you build your resume. They wanted to give me internships. They wanted to help me with my housing. They just wanted to give me stuff and wanted to help. And they want to do the same thing for you. All you wants their students to do is succeed. And I didn't feel that love and inclusion at the other, like other places I went. So UVU has a place for you. We will cater our resources and our classes towards what you need. That's why in this COVID pandemic, we have offered tons of live stream classes. I'm sure your high schools, most some of them are online. All of mine back home are online. And they still, for people that need face-to-face -face learning and hands-on learning, we offer face-to-face -face classes with social distancing and masks as I'm on campus right now and I'm wearing a mask. We offer completely online where you don't fake, because maybe some people only learn through a computer and they don't like people or they don't, they want to be safe. And we offer that as well. UVU is so good at catering to their students. And that's why I came here because I felt like everything was molded for me and it'll mold it for you as well. They're very good at making sure that everyone feels included. So if you don't, if you remember one thing from this whole video is that UVU has a place for you. We 
have so many resources that we're dying to give you because all we care about is your individual success. So that is my little spiel on why I fell in love with UVU and why I attend here. Do we have any other questions as far as I was aware? This was, this is, I don't want to hold you guys any longer than you have to be here. I understand people have classes to get to and it is a school day for you guys. Um, do we have any more questions? So thank you so, so much. Um, sorry, just a minute. There it is. Bailey, thank you so much. I know this is an, a challenge and kind of different. Um, and it looks like they all have to go back to class and um, get the information and that we can give, give this to the kids. So thanks thank for taking the time to share with all this information with us. Appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.